Hello and welcome to the League of Ireland preview show. I'm Paul Tierney and I'm joined with Jer and Gav today. Uh, we're just going to preview the fixtures for the upcoming week, second week of the season in the Premier Division and first week in the First Division. So I'm just going to go through the fixtures first and the games we'll be covering. So firstly, Sean McRobbers and Cork and Talla. Gary Spain and Kerry McGoy will be at that. I'll be at Talca Park with Paul, Shelburne against Dundalk. Waterford and Bowes with Gav. Uh, Derry and Finn Harps, no one will be at that, but it's on RTE. And Sligo Rovers and Pats, no one will be at that. So, lads, what do you think? Rovers and Cork scores. Um, I suppose the Rovers comes this game on the back of a victory last week and nothing sweeter than an injured time goal away to the nearest rivals as well. You've got a Cork team up against the Red Bull target, at least something that game against Shells last week. They've never really had a good record in Tally, even through the years in the row, pushing them dark. The Tally Stadium is always a game they always seem to find a struggle. You know, Shamrock Rovers seen last year a great uh, season. They've carried that momentum start this season. There'll be a good crowd there, opening night this season as well. I fancy 2 0 Shamrock Rovers. Gav? I'm going to go with 2 1 Rovers. I think Cork are going to be looking to prove themselves. They're going to be looking to balance back big time. So they're going to set up shop, try not to concede early. Hopefully try and sneak something at the end, but I think Rovers will have too much for him. I agree with both the lads and myself. I think Rovers are going to win it 3-0, 3-1 maybe. Uh, back to Talca Park, Shells and Dundalk. Obviously myself being a Shells man, going to be a bit biased here. I think Shells will get a point. Dundalk usually start quite slow, and Shells started brilliantly on Friday with a 1-0 win away at Cork. Gab, what do we think? Yeah, I think he could be right. Shells, a bit of momentum after the night, big result. Dundalk, travelling as well, you don't know. Don't know, maybe you could be right. Could be a. I'm gonna go with a one all draw. One all draw, perfect. And yeah. Yeah, look, it promises to be a great night and special occasion. Talk of first time having top tier football in Ireland since 2013. Gonna be packed house. Gonna be good atmosphere. And dog both bring a good crowd as well. So it should certainly make for a great occasion. Yeah, as you mentioned, yeah, Shells really coming to this. A lot of confidence. You know, there'll be good balls now around the Drumhandra and the area the weekend into this game. The dog can be a little bit slow. They'll be happy with that result last week. There's no two ways. About that, but I think Chill is definitely now the first home game of the season. They'll be right up for it. I'm going to go for a, uh, a one all draw and uh, forward on Dock Man, Kieran Cadoff, to add to his goal from last week. Perfect. And now we move on to Waterford and Bowes. Bowes obviously losing the derby to Rovers on Saturday. Be very disappointed to be looking to get back chomping at the bit in that game. Gav, what are your thoughts? Yeah, as you said, Bowes are going to be looking to bounce back. But we saw, I think, Saturday night, James Talbot. Bit of an injury concern over him, well, he knows his foot in the boot. He's going to be a big loss if he's out. Waterford as well, coming off a big win away to Pats. Down at the RSC, they're going to have big home support. We saw their away support in Pats the other night in Richmond. They had a huge following with them, so I can imagine the RSC is going to be good and lively. I think Waterford could kick on, maybe get a 1 0 victory down here. Good stuff, and Jack? Yeah, Waterford really impressed me, especially that first half performance. Even the second half, going to cost the way they dug in and managed to see out that result. I kind of thought they might struggle this season, but you know, I'm sure might have changed a small bit after seeing them live the other night. Mentioned Dundalk, you know, there's going to be an issue over James Hall, but we know how important he is. He produces some saves that other keepers in the league can't even do. You know, Dean Corkin picked up another injury in the warm up. You don't know how serious that is. You imagine they'll be trying to get Daniel Mandel back for this game if it was a case of an injury why he didn't start last week. It's going to be um, a tough one, right? Again, expecting a good crowd of the RSC, Waterford kind of buzzing um, from last week. And I think, yeah, the, the coach was carried that momentum through, and I think might sneak a 2 1 victory. Perfect. I actually agree with you myself. I think Watford might win this one. Bowes obviously with several injury concerns. They need to get Man- Mandriu fit and back in the side as fast as possible because they are lacking a bit. They did look like that on Saturday as well from what highlights I did see. Now the next game obviously Derry and Finn Harps up in the Brandywell. It's, none of us are going to that but it is live on RTE. It's usually quite a tasty affair. Harps started very well in the weekend. Derry be looking to bounce back after a 1-0 defeat the champions Dundalk. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Derry. I think they'll come back rallying and Harps usually away from home struggle. Even though it is close, I do think that Derry will take the points. Do you know what Yeah, I don't think Derry will be too disheartened. No one would expect them to go up to Oil as we can get a result. I know they've lost a lot of senior players during the off-season as well. You know, their main goal scorer junior and Parkhouse from last season. So it's going to take them a while to try and find the target. This is a fixture that you enjoy a lot of success in the quite a couple of good comprehensive victories again Finn Harps last season as I alluded to in the uh, review show earlier you know the Finn Harps can struggle a small bit on the road even though they don't have too far to travel for this game um, I still think Derry at home 2-0 for me Perfect and yeah it's going to be it's going to be a spicy enough encounter in Northern Derby but as you both said Finn Harps do tend to struggle on the road so I'm going to go 1-0 Derry Perfect and 
our final game from Premier Division is Sligo and Pats. For myself, I think Pats are going to rally back after losing one 0 to Waterford on Friday. I think Pats have to do a lot better. They've been tipped to do quite well this year. They're usually in and around the European places, and this is a ground where they should be looking to get a victory. Jared, what do you think being Pats on? Yeah, I probably would be a bit slight biased here, but no, I'd agree with you. I fancy us to bounce back last week. Look, I wouldn't be too disappointed either. I thought the second half, Pats get a real good goal. You know, another day, goalkeeper masterclass, Pats could have won that game 2 1. Like, so look, as I agree with you, I expect Pats to be up around the European places this season. I expect Sligo to be struggling. If that's the case, then, you know, Pats have to win these type of games. Going away from home, they done it last season, got a last minute goal up in throw around the second weekend of the season. And hopefully it's deja vu this year again. So I'm going to go for Pats to win 1 0. Perfect. And yeah, I think Steve O'Donnell's going to have these boys up first. If it wasn't for Brian Murphy the other night against Waterford, could have been. As you said, it would have been a different result. It would have been two or three. To, Pats would have got two or three goals there. So I think they're going to be up for this one. And they're going to be all out for a win. So I think they're going to sneak a 2 0 victory on the road. Perfect. Right. Right. That's us finished with the, our predictions. What do you think the scores will be, lads? Please leave your uh, opinions in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.